Hello, I'm Terry Harrison. I'm going to share with you a few top tips for acrylics. There are many different ways of applying acrylics. I'm just going to show you one or two examples. I'm going to start with a sponge. This is a natural sponge. Right, I'm going to pick up some green. This is some hooker's green, a bit of olive green. I've already wet the, uh, the sponge, but not, not too much. And you simply stipple like this. You can get lovely textures like that. Or you can dab like this for some grasses or flick up. And it's great for doing uh, foliage, for trees. So we just mix up some hooker's green, burnt umber, the tree trunk, and just paint in a few branches. Some shade underneath. There you are, a natural sponge. An interesting device um, for applying paint is this cunning little thing called a speckling brush. And it's, um, it's like an old-fashioned bottle cleaner with a piece of wood with a spike sticking out. Load the brush with colour. So just paint on some, uh, some acrylic. Water it down. So push the, the spike into the brush and you turn the handle and it flicks the paint onto the paper. You get this lovely speckly effect. Fabulous for buildings, but uh, brilliant for um, shingle beaches. This is a very good example of how to use the speckling brush. Once the painting has just about finished, to, the finishing touch really is to sort out something in the foreground. We've got the main subject in, in the centre, that, that's looking good, but as it comes down to the bottom of the painting, we just need to, to finish this off. And this, I'm just going to show you a very, very simple way of adding a little bit of detail without too much effort. So we're going to use the fan stippler, some burnt umber, and with that dark colour, just going to paint in some ferns by just flicking like that. And paint the grasses over the dark, and that just pushes that cart back into the painting. Again, feed the, the grasses in so that it leans towards the centre of the painting. No effort at all. That brings us to the end of the DVD. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you found it full of Terry's top tips for acrylic artists. Thank you.